up everybody it's the homie truth teller the street reporter and you know a lot of people always ask me about like rumors you know recently i've been doing videos to kind of debunk the rumors it's a lot of shit in the drill culture that we hear stories about and we want to know uh was tukin an assassin uh was ki really a serial killer you know was melly really like that it's a lot of questions in the drill culture that a lot of people always ask about and um uh, you know, I actually had an opportunity to take you to a Dave and Buster's to debunk the rumor about Wooski. Y'all all seen that video. Uh, we've been doing this for a while. Today, a lot of people got questions they want to ask me. We actually in Chicago right now. Cameraman, you'll let them see where we at right now. We actually in Chicago. Uh, this is one of the dopest cars too. Look, we go Trump Tower. I love Trump Tower. Right by Trump Tower. Uh, they go to Navy Pill. We all know Navy Pill with the little Ferris wheel and shit like that. So this is like one of the best areas in my opinion. I love coming around here. They got some of the dopest food spots too. I ain't gonna tell you my food spot, but they got some of it though. Uh, like I was saying, a lot of people ask me about rumors and things like that. A rumor that I'm always asked about is like things that go on in Tukerville. You know, you hear the Tukerville name, you hear St. Lawrence, you hear Jaro City, uh, Taekwon World, you know. Uh, it's a lot of rumors. A lot of people always ask me, is it unity out there? Is it one? I had an opportunity to talk with like the muscle out there. We all know it like FBG and Duck Nun, but they had the muscle, like right? guys who were in the street who really protected them, who did street shit, who was involved in that street shit, who wasn't rappers. I got an opportunity to talk with one of the most well-known street dudes who was doing that shit from that area by the name of uh, Eberhard Baby Greg. You might know him as EBTBG. Uh, he told me a lot of things about, like, you know, as far as rumors and shit in the community. I got that interview dropping later on today. A lot of people always ask me about O Block too, you know, um, with all the murders that go on out there. They want to know how do that community stand so strong? Uh, you know, you got to be from there to understand that. The real love like O Block, it's something about the street. People love the struggle. You know, it, it's, it's cool when you can make it, but it's just different when all odds are stacked against you and you make it, you know? I think that's why people fell in love with like O Block, but. I wouldn't say everything is unified. I think maybe the cameras might tell you that. I talk to a lot of people who tell me that, you know, it's a lot of turmoil and beef within them crews, but they just know how not to do it on the internet. They smart enough to make themselves look strong and shit like that. I can believe that because I grew up in hoods and communities and most of the problems I ever had with people was with people in my hood. It was people in the community. You know, every now and then the ops come through, slide through it, flick over you and shit like that. But most of the issues I had was niggas in the community. That's a gated community. I'm pretty sure everybody don't like each other. I'm pretty sure it ain't been fights. People want to smoke each other. They beefing. It's a lot of that shit going on. I just think they smart enough to not let you see that shit. You know what I'm saying? They smart enough to hide it. Think about it. I've been living in Chicago my whole life. I recently moved away. I've been living in Chicago my whole life, man. Most of every problem I ever got into was not with a motherfucker far away. It was always somebody in my community, you know? Um, that's crazy, man. Uh, Cameron, man, can I get some of these people? I want you guys to see, this is everyday life. You know, when you read the newspapers, you see the YouTube videos, the documentaries of all the murders and the killings and shit like that, you don't realize that that shit don't speak for everybody in the city, man. Look, everybody not out here killing each other, man. That shit don't speak for everybody, man. Uh, yeah, it is violent, uh, but everybody don't want to kill you, man. Come on, cameraman, walk with me. I got baby Tyler with me, too. Baby Tyler, talk to the cameraman. Tell him what's up. Walk with him. Come on, that's right, y'all. One, two, three. Hey, Chief, what? Thank you, cameraman. But uh, as you can see, we be out here. It's a little bit better out here. Man, don't get me wrong. We got to watch out. You don't know who behind this camera, so I ain't saying I ain't protected. But I'ma just say it is dangerous. You know out here. What else? We must want to hide out here. But uh, we got a lot of videos dropping. I appreciate the love, man. Shout out every blogger who out here doing what they doing. Um, Shout out everybody in the streets doing this shit, man. I appreciate the love. We going quick. We almost at 50,000 subscribers. 
Truth Teller birthday coming up soon in like a couple weeks. So I know my gift gonna be them 50,000 subscribers now. You feel me? We gonna turn up. I appreciate the love. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Let's get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs>